in vivo and in vitro screening models for CNS pharmacology. 1. In vivo models. In vivo models involve testing the effects of a drug in a whole, living organism, such as rodents. These models provide insights into how a drug affects the entire biological system, including behavior, motor coordination, and cognitive functions. Here's an overview of some key in vivo models used in CNS pharmacology. A. Rotor Road Test. Purpose. This test is used to measure motor coordination and balance in animals, typically rodents. Method. Animals are placed on a rotating rod, and the time they can remain on the rod without falling is recorded. This is particularly useful for testing CNS depressants or drugs that may affect motor coordination, such as antipsychotics or muscle. Application. Useful for assessing drugs that may impair or enhance motor control. B. Open field test. Purpose. The open field test is used to measure anxiety-like behavior and exploratory behavior in rodents. Method. The animal is placed in a large, open arena, and its movements are tracked. Increased time spent in the center of the field suggests reduced anxiety, while staying close to the walls indicates anxiety-like behavior. Application. Widely used for testing the anxiolytic effects of drugs like benzodiazepines and antidepressants. Elevated plus maze, EPM, purpose. Another anxiety test where rodents are placed on a plus-shaped platform elevated above the ground. The maze has two open arms and two enclosed arms. Method. Time spent in the open arms versus the enclosed arms is recorded. More time spent in the open arms suggests reduced anxiety. Application. Anxiolytics, such as benzodiazepines, are often tested using this model. Morris Water Maze. Purpose. This test is used to evaluate spatial memory and learning in rodents. Method. Animals are placed in a pool of water where they must find a hidden platform to escape. Over time, the animal's ability to find the platform improves, which reflects its memory and learning abilities. Application, nootropics, memory-enhancing drugs, and treatments for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's are tested using this model. 2. In vitro models, in vitro models are experiments conducted outside a living organism, typically using cells, tissues, or organ-on-a-chip systems. These models allow researchers to focus on the direct effects of drugs on specific cells or systems in a controlled environment. A. Patch plan technique, purpose. This technique is used to study the effects of drugs on ion channels in neuronal cells. Method. A micropuppet is used to isolate a small section of the cell membrane. The electrical current passing through ion channels is recorded, allowing researchers to see how a drug affects neuronal excitability molecular action of CNS drugs that influence neurotransmission, such as anti-epileptics or muscle relaxants. b. Organ on a chip, purpose. This cutting-edge technology mimics the microenvironment of human organs, including the brain, on a small chip. Method. Cells from the brain or other relevant tissues are placed on a chip that can simulate physiological conditions. This model allows for testing drug effects in a more human-like environment, without the use of animal models. Application. Used to study CNS disorders, neurodegenerative diseases, and drug toxicity. It is also a promising alternative to animal models. Comparison of in vivo and in vitro models. Thanks for watching. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of the in vivo and in vitro models used in CNS pharmacology. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting content about the fascinating world of pharmacology.